Hey there, how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward here. And in this video clip, you're gonna get a no squat leg workout. Now, yes, squats are one of the best leg exercises you can do, if not the best leg exercise you can do. But there are times when you're going to want to train your legs without doing squats. I mean, every now and then you need to give your back a break because your back is gonna take a lot of wear and tear from your back training and having a load of barbell across your shoulders that places a lot more work on your back as well so there's times when you'll want to just give your back a break but still train your legs hard and of course some people can't squat for whatever reason I mean, maybe you have back or or shoulder problems or something and you can't have a load of barbell on your back but you still want to train your legs hard so that's the purpose of this video clip and I'm just going to take you right now and jump right into it and the first exercise of our workout is the leg press. And this is a great overall mass building leg exercise because it allows you to handle heavy weight and it's a compound move that works all the major muscles of the legs. Now you're getting your quads, your hamstrings, your hips and your glutes. So you're getting a lot of a lot of muscle mass worked, but it's not placing any stress on the back. Now my better half, Patricia, is going to jump in and do a set. And during this video, we're going to be doing the exercises uh, set for set. She'll be demonstrating some moves and I'll be demonstrating some others. So again, you can see she's doing the leg press as well. And she's going to do a little twist at the end and do some calf presses. And this is a great way to kind of piggyback two moves back to back because uh, you have the weight already set up for the leg press, so why not get some calf work in there as well? And all you have to do is hang your heels off the edge of the foot plate and do the calf presses. Now, make sure to put the safety pins in place just in case your toes were to slip off the bottom of the foot plate. You wouldn't want that weighted sled to come down on top of you. So put the safety pins in place first, so rack the weight, and then do your calf presses. Next up is walking lunges. And for this workout, what we're gonna do is throw in a set of walking lunges in between each set, or sorry, not each set, each uh, exercise. So after you do your leg presses, do a set of walking lunges, and then move on to your next exercise, and then a set of walking lunges. And in between each exercise, we're just gonna do that. And with this, all you need to do is just use your body weight and lap back and forth the gym. After that, we're going to move on to the leg kickback. And this is kind of like doing a single leg squat, except there's no stress on your back. All the emphasis is just on the lower body. But you notice you get a full range of motion when you do this move, and you get to work each leg independently. And that's something that I like, to throw in exercises that are single limb exercises and allow you to build balance and proportion between the left and right legs. So when you're doing this move, you may notice that one leg is actually stronger or more solid than the other leg. And if that's the case, what I recommend you do, start with your weaker leg first, and then do the exact same number of repetitions for your stronger leg. And after that, again, another set of walking lunges, and Patricia's demonstrating this now. So we're going to kind of alternate the exercises just to save some video time. But both of us are doing these exercises set for set. Now we're going to do some isolation work. And this exercise here is the leg extension. And this one's great for working the quadriceps. Now, I mean, you're going to hear some mixed reviews. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I personally love this exercise. I find it's really good for bringing out, you know, the shape and the hardness in the front of the quads. So I'm a big fan of doing leg extensions with every leg workout. After that, we're going to do some isolation for the hamstrings. And Patricia is demonstrating the seated leg curl machine. And this is a great move for really isolating and getting a good peak contraction in the hamstrings or the back of the legs. Now with this move, again, focus on squeezing your hamstrings hard. So as you curl that pad down, 
Try and hold it for a split second and mentally focus on squeezing your hamstrings hard as you do the exercise. Next up in our workout is some isolation work for the outer and inner thigh. And a lot of guys tend to avoid these machines altogether. They think, well, you know, that, that's a girl's exercise, and they feel like they're going to look like a sissy if they do it. But suck it up and do these exercises, because having strong legs all over, including your outer thighs and your inner thighs, is going to improve your stability and actually make you more solid when it comes to your bigger compound lifts. And for athletes, these exercises are particularly important because you want to have that mobility. I mean, if you're doing a lot of side-to-side -side movements and, you know, changing direction, you want your legs to be strong all over. So inner and outer thigh is critical. Now, I demonstrated the outer thigh. Trish here is showing the inner thigh. Usually at the gym, you'll see these two machines paired up side-by-side. So you make sure to do an equal volume with both the inner and the outer thigh machines so that you have a co good complete leg workout and you're covering all bases. And to finish off our leg workout we're going to do some calf raises. Now generally I like to save the majority of my calf work for the end of the leg workout because calves burn like a bugger. <laughs> I mean when you're doing calf training it really burns and sometimes I find that if you get your calves pre-fatigued in advance, it may actually hinder some of your other exercises. So I like to save them at the end and just go all out. I mean, leave it, leave nothing on the table here. I mean, go all out, drain the tank, and you'll notice here I'm actually doing drop sets. And all that means is you take a heavy weight, rep it out to failure, and then immediately switch to a lighter weight, rep it out to failure, and then drop it down again. And when you're doing weight stack machines, such as the standing calf raise here, it's easy because all you have to do is drop the pin down to a lighter weight and keep going. Yeah, so this is a great way to really fry your calves at the end of a leg workout. Alrighty, so that is the complete leg workout. Now just to quickly recap, we started off with the leg press for three sets of 10 reps. Then we did the leg kickbacks for three sets of 10 for each leg. Then we moved on to the leg extensions to work the quadriceps, three sets of 12. Seated leg curls to work the hamstrings, three sets of 12 again. After that, we moved on to the inner and outer thigh machines. And for this, do three sets of at least 15 reps for each move. After that, finish off with some calf raises. And again, three sets of at least 15 reps. And you can just really burn it out and you can incorporate drop sets if you like as well. Now, the kicker to this leg workout is we're going to be doing a set of walking lunges in between each exercise. Now, this is an advanced thing, and it's really going to increase the volume of the workout, but trust me, this is really going to make it more effective as well. So, all you have to do in between each of these exercises, simply lap back and forth the gym. You don't need any equipment, you don't need any weight, just use your body weight and do a set of walking lunges. So... There you go, a complete no squat leg workout. And if you have any questions or feedback, please post them in the comments section below and I'll chat to you down there. And in the meantime, have yourself a fantastic day. Take care, over and out.